For quite some time now, Solskjaer has been using the 4-4-2 diamond at Manchester United. Even though the game was pretty boring overall, Liverpool did show a way which can be really effective against this setup. First of all, let's look at how United set up defensively. The two strikers press the central defenders while taking out the passing lane to the fullbacks. The midfielders are man oriented And here's an example of United using man orientations in midfield. And in the game against Chelsea, there's more examples of this. When the opponents are able to reach the fullback, United's side midfielder would press, and United's defensive midfielder takes over his opponent when possible. Here, Herrera steps out to press Robertson. Pogba goes to the fullback, with McTominay going to his man. And also in the Chelsea game, Pogba goes to the fullback. Matic doesn't go to his man as the distance is too big. In my Chelsea United video from last week, I already explained what Chelsea could have done against this type of defence. Something which Chelsea might have tried to do was rotate on the right, with Conte falling back, Aspilicueta moving up and Pedro moving to the centre. This would have allowed Luis to play the cross ball to Aspilicueta, who could then receive in more advanced areas or to play the ball behind the defence for the runs of Pedro and Higuain. Here, Chelsea could have rotated on the side to try and create more progressive options. Here again, if Chelsea would have rotated, they would have asked questions of the United defenders. And in the last example, a rotation and runs in behind might have led to more progression. Near the end of the first half, Chelsea did something like this a couple of times, but the decision making and accuracy were lacking. Last week, this was just a thought of mine, but this week Liverpool showed that this can actually be very effective against United. When Liverpool rotated, Shaw was constantly forced inside by Salah. Pogba then had to decide to either go to Milner and leave Henderson free, or go to Henderson and leave Milner free. Liverpool have rotated on the side and Pogba has followed Milner. This allows Henderson to get free in midfield. Pogba is again forced back by Milner. When McTominay goes to Henderson, he leaves space between the lines. McTominay goes to Henderson, however this means he does leave space behind that Liverpool might exploit. Here it's the other way around. Pogba follows Henderson which leaves space for Milner to exploit. Pogba is focused on Henderson and the ball, which allows Milner to exploit the space behind him. Pogba presses Henderson, which allows Milner to get free on the side. So all in all, it's obvious that Chelsea didn't exploit this, and although Liverpool did, they were really sloppy in the final third. But it seems like this could be the way to play against United's 4-4-2 diamond. Before we end, I'd like to ask you guys to check out my Patreon page. YouTube removed me from the partner program a few months ago, so with a small donation, you can help me out a lot, and we'll be able to help decide which match I analyse each week. Anyway, that's all for today. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. All the links you need to Patreon, Instagram and Twitter are in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.